When you start FileMaker, normally what you see is this a quick start screen. So you can create a new database really quickly by clicking on the new. You can convert an old one, use a starter solution, which is a great way if you know kind of what you want to do. And here you can open up your previous databases. So here's our previous database. And in the last movie, we looked at the options for setting up a new layout here. So I'm going to look at creating a brand new layout. Let's go to our layout mode, layouts, and we're going to create a new layout. So we can choose what kind of layout we want to create, a new table view, a list view, and so on, or even a blank layout. If you use a standard form, then there will be several questions for you to answer. So let's start with a blank layout and see what kinds of things we can do. So there we are. What we need to do is to drag some of our fields that we've created into our layout. This is our field control tool. So we can choose what kind of thing we want to create. Do we want to create an icon? Do we want to create text? Or text and an icon? Or text only? So let's look at icon and text and see what happens. Now we can create an edit box, which is an area for you to fill in your information. A drop-down list. And a drop-down list is a great way of creating um, a list of things that are suitable. So for example, um, it might be if you're doing topics or if you're doing uh, your CPD, you might have a bunch of keywords that you want to assign to different topics so that you know how to look for them quickly. Things like construction, learning the CAD, that kind of thing. So first of all, let's look at an edit box. So click and drag, and that creates an edit box. So that's an area for us to put information into. That could be our topic. Date attended, maybe. Duration, and so on. So this will allow us to create a label or not. It's very handy to make sure that you put a label so you know what kind of information goes there. So there we are. There's our first field. What about a drop-down list? So let's put one of those in. Now we haven't got a drop-down list. So duration, we haven't got a, a duration list yet. So we haven't created a list for this, nor have we created a location type list. But I'm going to try that anyway and see what happens. So what's going to happen is that that's now a location with a list that we can uh, look at. So let's go back to View, Browse, and let's see how it looks. So this drop-down list, you'll notice that the drop-down list, we haven't got a list assigned to this, so it's not working the way we want. Back to our layout mode, back to this object here, and I need to select it, so it's my selection tool. Click on that, and we can now make changes to it. So we could perhaps make changes to our list. We can assign a list to it. Here we've got auto-sizing. We've got the arrange, so we could select several bits like this, and we could arrange or align them together. We could resize them. And I'm really looking for something that will allow me to change the type. Here we can choose the color. The line around the outside, is it solid? You know, what color is it? We can put different color lines around it. Then those sort of visual clues help you to find the areas. Now this is a drop-down list, but we haven't yet created a drop-down list for it, so there's nothing here. What we could do is perhaps uh, we can allow editing of that list so that we can actually add things as we go. Let's try that. So we've, we've selected that field, it's a drop-down list, and we've said that we haven't got a, a value yet, so we really need to create one. So let's create a value list. So we need to create a new value list. This is going to be our location. And we're going to use custom values and we can type in. So office. I sometimes go to EIT. I might, uh, if I was in England or in London, I might go to the RIBA for a meeting or if I was... Uh, so you can put in whatever you want there. So let's just start with those two. Let's go back and have a look at our browse mode. So now we've got our date attended and we've got our EIT. 
So now what we should find is that we can change that from the office to the IT and there's a value list now in action so that we can um, quickly choose where we went for our um, location. And you can also click on the edit button and edit this and go uh, online. And click OK. So now we can choose whether we're in our office, whether we learnt it online, and so on. So back to our layout. So now you can choose what kind of things you want to create. Pop-up menu, a checkbox, radio button, or a drop-down calendar. Now the drop-down calendar might be handy here for the date attended, making it easy to fill that in. So back to our selection tool, let's get rid of that. And let's put in a drop-down calendar. And that's going to be date attended. So let's move that one down and move our location down. And let's go back to browse and try it out, see what it looks like. So there's our drop down and we can then choose the date and it fills it in for us. Now you'll see that you actually don't need that much room for the date attended. Now it's a drop down calendar. We don't need that much room. So back to layout and we can make this smaller. So date attended. So what I'm thinking is that I could move these across there the location doesn't need to be nearly as big as that. So I can bring those across. And you'll notice that you get these alignment area uh, hints, like lining up hints, alignment hints. So if I select both of those, bring that up there, and we want to copy, I think I can use that one for it. There we are. So you select one, use your paintbrush and you click on the one that you want to assign it to. Now those two fields are pretty similar. So we've got date attended, location, I guess we need our duration. So that would probably want to be an edit box. Or we could make a checkbox set maybe or a radio button set. So make it easy so it's either 15 minutes, half an hour, one hour or so on. I'm just going to make an edit box. So make an edit box in there. So those two line up, that's our duration. It's going to create the label. What else do we need? Let's create our label here. What's missing? We've done our duration, location, topic. Topic's the last one. This wants to be a rather bigger one because we might want to fill in quite a lot of information for this. And we'll put the topic there. So we select that and we apply it to there and click on that paintbrush, apply it to there as well. So now they all have the same look. So this is your first new layout, your you know your first individual layout. We can set the tab order. Now the tab order is the order in which you go when you hit the tab key. So for example, the date attended is first, the location is second, the duration is third, and the topic is fourth. If you're happy about that, that's fine. But what you can do is to rem is to change these. So for example, you might want to have the duration as number one. You might want to have the topic as number two. The date attended might be number three and the location four, but you could make that four and that three. So let's clear all. And I'm going to put them back the way they were. One, two, three, four. So you can just click if you like. Okay, and so now when I use the tab key, it will move from field 1 to 2, 3, then 4. Let's go back to our browse mode. So here's our new layout. I haven't given a proper name, but what we can do is we can change from that's the first way of looking at it, that's our first layout, and that's our second one, that's the one we've created ourselves.